Hello and welcome to the British Academy of Floral Art and to our Floral Crown Week where there's been some super designs made already to inspire you and I've been asked to cover the traditional wired and taped circlet for you. So here goes. So I have in front of me some of the things that uh, you'll need to create the floral crown. First of all are some long green wires and then some silver wires and some just thinner green wires and these will help support and allow me to manipulate the flowers that I'm going to use. So I know flowers are really difficult to get hold of at this time, so I managed to get hold of some um, Sweetheart White Roses, which are lovely. So I have five in the crown that I'm wearing, and I'll put five in the one that I'm going to show to you. And then also I managed to get hold of a few hellebores. So I've got a mixture of green and pink in here, and they need to be picked really when they've gone to seed. So if you look into the centre of them, you can see that they've got the, the seed box extended there and that will just make them more sturdy and therefore they'll hold up for the day. And then along with that, I have got some dried bits and pieces. So I've got some skeletonized leaves here, which I'm going to wire. And I also came across this lovely branch of bamboo, which was broken and lying on the pathway when I was doing my hours exercise and it's actually bleached and dried so that's all the flicky bits in here that I've, I've threaded through the crown so that's what I'm going to use in the crown today. I also, just for a little bit of fibre texture, I've got some of this which comes from the fern trees where they're, they're trimmed and um, this sort of covers the, the stem, so it's, yeah, it's nice to use in there, it gives some texture. So just wanted to show you the tape that I'm using, I like the parafilm, it uh, stretches really well, it does need to be warm before you use it, but it gives good coverage and I feel it gives a really neat finish. There are other tapes that you could use which are the gutta percha, this is a bit more paper based, slightly more sticky, but again gives a good finish. So I just want to show you now how to construct the wire circlet frame that we're going to tape the flowers and the foliage onto. And to do this I'm using three green stub wires. Um, I'm using three because I don't have heavier ones. Um, I want to get the weight so that they'll support the flowers and the foliage when I tape them to it. So using our warmed tape just stretch a little bit over the end and twist and then just pull and take it close at a diagonal down the length of the wires. Don't worry if the tape breaks, you can always come in and start it again. And then what we want to do is to make a loop on the top of that, like so. So we just need to tape that end over. And then we want to extend the length of this so that we can create the circlet frame all the way around. So if we overlap another three taped wires by about an inch, two inches, that will secure them in place, like so. And then what we want to do the other end is to just form a hook so that when you bring them round together, they lock in like that and you get the circlet frame, like so. Now what you can do is halfway around, just to help with security, is to take a, a thin wire, so here's one here that I've taped, and I'm just folding it in half and pinching it together. And you can use these just placed halfway around the frame like so, I can just show you that, I think you can see, like so, and they'll help secure, you can put hair grips through this and um, it will just hold it in place 
depending on the type of hairstyle that you've got so you can just tape those in and that's that's the frame for you so the main thing that you really need to do is to actually check the size measurements are really important so if i just take this one off for the moment i've got one here that i made a little bit longer just to show you but it's important you've got to think of the way that it's going to be worn and you just want to take it round your head judge and then come in and you can trim and then fold over and make your hook and attach it together and then hopefully you've got a circuit frame that you can work from that one there so i just want to show you now how we wire and tape the flower material to go onto the circlet. So I've got my rose here and I'm going to cut it about half an inch from the neck, like so, on a diagonal. And then we're going to take a green wire. I haven't got any rust wires, they grip a little bit better, but we're going to insert this just to the neck of the rose like so that's internally and then I'm just going to take a little silver wire across to stop it spinning around and it just gives it a little bit more anchorage there so hopefully you can see that if I show you on the book like so and then they just get folded down and then to do the hellebore Again, I've only left about half inch stem on there, and that one is going to get wired by what we call the pipping method. So I'm just folding a wire in half, pinching it to make a loop, and twisting it so that both the wires come down straight. I'll just trim the ends, otherwise, they do buckle a bit, and that is that one there. And this will come down just by the seed box and through the flower head and next to the stem there and that one will get taped and then to do the skeletonized leaves again I'm just going to these are very delicate and they do break off at the bottom so I'm just going to do some little gathering folds into the center there take away the excess and trim it a bit and then just give it a bit of support with a silver wire by holding it around the back in half and pinching it in and then wrapping one leg around the other and catching it just bringing it down straight so that's the skeletonized leaf there for you and then we had the little piece of dried bamboo and again that's going to be the same way just thread silver wire through the middle fold in half wrap around and trim the stem so that you've got about half inch natural stem and that will keep the weight down as you're putting it together and then finally if you wanted a little bit of this fiber just to pull off just sort of soften it a little bit and quite often they just fold in half and pinch together at the end and again come in with a finer green wire and wrap that round so that that's been supported as well and they're my five pieces that i'm going to use and then what i normally do is i wire everything and then i go through taping because hopefully then i will have picked up speed a bit but we're just going to catch it where we folded the wire around so that it's supported and we're just going to do that for about an inch we don't want to wire all the way down the stem because it takes too much time so around on itself to cover that stem there and the reasons why we're taping is to seal the moisture in just so that the plant material lasts longer during the day and also it protects the wearer from the exposed wires and obviously it gives a nice finish there as well so that's the material that's going to be incorporated into the circlet so now i'll show you how to create and pop it all together So now we're coming to the really fun part of putting the circular headdress together. 
got all our materials wired and taped, I tend to arrange mine into groups so that I find it easier to pick them up. And it's quite a good idea just to lay them out next to each other to see what sort of pattern that you want to produce for your overall design. And just remember as well that um, if you've got larger roses, they're better off coming through the front of the design and not being hidden around the back. And we're looking for a nice even placement. So I'm just going to start by placing um, this fibrous material over the end and I'm actually going to take a hellebore and place that next to it as well and I'm just breaking off little bits of tape now so that it's easier to bring it through the hoop and pull around like so and then I'm going to pull that off and then I'm going to look for my next material. So we're placing, we're looking to place sort of like in a stepping, a side to side, so that you get even coverage, so that there's interest when it's being worn from each top and bottom area. Now I got a little bit carried away with the one that I'm wearing, so it is quite full. Um, so time-wise, I might just put a few less bits and pieces in this one so that you can actually see it finished. So I'm just placing some of the dried materials next to each other. And again, what I tend to do is to trim the wires away as I work because this makes a finer finish. And we're looking to keep all the placement of materials to the front and sides of the circlet and none underneath because otherwise it would be very uncomfortable for the wearer. So just going away like so. And let's place a rose in there. So you can slightly angle your materials as you put them in. So you can see I'm just using little bits of tape and coming in and, and dusting it around, catching it in. I'm only taping about an inch into the stem of the material. Like so. I don't know whether you can hear, but the birds outside have been singing the whole time that I've been here in my little summer house. So this is my haven. Uh, I've always wanted one and I, it's very small, but I can come up here and I can see the squirrels leaping around at the big oak tree that's just outside the door there. And I can slightly see the sea. Just a CT around the corner. So can you see how this is beginning to get built up as we're working along? And I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll show you how to finish it off at the end. So you can see how this is building up. I've got round to the middle of the design, so I've got three flowers in and I'm here to my focal in the centre. So I'm just bringing in some of the larger uh, hellebores in either side of that and still continuing to wire and tape as I go. I'm just breaking off bits as I say to catch in the stems there. And it gets a little bit heavier as you go, but you can see you're sort of feeding it through hoop as you work. I'm placing in these lovely pieces of bamboo, dried bamboo stems. They're super. Give such lovely movement to the design. And also this very funny coarse fibre. And again it just gives a bit of darkness and depth. The circlet. So I'll continue going right to the end and then I'm going to show you how to put a ribbon bow on there as well. So just slightly angling the material from side to side, get a nice even coverage. So you can see how this is building, we're nearly there, I'm just putting the last rows into the design, just angling it on a slightly different level to bring a bit of interest in there. So 
birds are still singing outside. And then we're just going to add the last few hellebores and then I will show you how to make a bow and add that in and then we will be finished. So the circlet is almost complete so just to finish it off and give that nice sort of soft dainty feel at the back feminine look to it I'm going to put in an organza bow. So I'm going to make a figure of eight one. This is a wired organza ribbon, so it does hold its shape really nicely. I'm just going to loop into the centre again and move it back. And then gather in and take a wire over the front and fold it so that it goes over the back as well. And then you can take the ribbon away from you, pop your finger in there and give it a good twist and that will hold it nice and firmly. And then the beauty of an organza bow is you can lift all the loops out and manipulate it to look pretty. So that's just going to get added in there. I'm just going to trim off a little bit of the wire and we're going to tape it in that last little area there. Just make sure it's in the middle and make sure of course that I've got the circlet round it the right way and then with this piece of tape we shall just tape off and there we have it so just rearrange Pull the loops out and there we have our finished circlet with the bow in place. So the circlet is now complete so all that needs to be done is to try it on and make sure that it fits and sits comfortably on your head. There we are. So I really hope that you've enjoyed the video on how to make a wired circlet. I hope you have a wonderful time trying one of your own. It doesn't have to be nearly as full as this. You could use just greenery as well. I've got some lovely herbs here, rosemary and sage and some ivy leaves, and that would make a great uh, foliage circlet. So thank you for watching and uh, keep safe. And there's a finished design hanging on the door. Enjoy. <laughs>